I started my career at the SEC where I prosecuted money managers. I had a great speaking event today at Barrel. It was a different experience where it was a mixture of different attendees and different communities coming together. The industry has changed quite significantly since 2008 for a whole host of reasons. You had the financial crisis, which affected how people had invested their money. You had the development of the internet over the last two decades that have also caused how purchasers consume their services, not only from the asset management perspective, but from a legal services or provision of legal services, and then also how people market their services. All of those things taken in a flux changes how all of us sell and consume these services. Technologies made sharing of information easier with our clients, where rather than going to the world that pre-existed my practicing law of fax machines and telegraph and hand delivery, it's uh, simplified it with the advent of the computer and the internet and modifying documents quite effectively. It has made it more challenging in knowing who your counterparties are and confirming them and securing their identities. Over the last few years, we've seen two industries, or really three industries, grow through a lot of growth. Post-2008, the financial crisis, we've seen an increase, a material increase, in the people who are seeking to invest in alternative finance, otherwise known as shadow banking. What that means is there are people who engage in investment strategy where they lend against real estate. It's called hard money lending. There are people who need financing for litigation purposes, which have been enabled certain uh, victims to have their day in court that previously weren't able to afford it because the lawyers weren't able to put the resources together to support their cases. We've also seen the rise of cryptocurrency and blockchain and how people invest in those types of instruments. And what I was going to say, and it applies to almost all of these instruments, securities. In most cases, the currencies we're seeing are deemed securities under the law. The other area of growth that we've seen a lot of development is in the cannabis industry, where people are creating cannabis-related businesses in the United States and abroad. And as the laws change, we're going to see that change of investing occur as well. 